man who has been to the other side and returned. A man who cannot be killed in battle. Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Centipede Geek. Today I'm going to review a film in the name of The Lone Ranger. This film is directed by Gore Verbinski and it stars actors and actresses such as Johnny Depp, Army Hammer, Helena Bonham Carter, and William Fickner. And Gore Verbinski is previously known for directing the first three films and the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, and he also directed another film starring Johnny Depp by the name of Rango. Now, if you're not familiar with the Lone Ranger character, this character is actually many years old, originally dating back to the year of 1933, I believe, where he first appeared in a radio show. And he was first brought to the television small screen in the year of 1949 in a very popular television series. Well, now, once again, we are given another movie adaptation, a Gore Brinsky adaptation of the famous Lone Ranger character. Well, let's talk about that. What's the plot of the Lone Ranger? Well, we have Johnny Depp playing the famous Tonto character, and then we have a new actor, Army Hammer, playing the Lone Ranger character. Then we have William Fitner playing the main villain in this movie. And pretty much what this movie is about, it's pretty much a Western film. We have Tonto, and then we have the Lone Ranger, and it's pretty much about their friendship in this movie. They, they you know, they're, they've had their fair of struggles in their lives, and at first they don't really like each other too much, but after, you know, I won't say too much, but after a certain course of events, they, they start to become fond of each other. Our villain in this movie is William Fickner's character, and he pretty much wants a bunch of silver, and he'll, his character will do whatever it takes, whatever needs necessary to get a hold of the silver. And then our Lone Ranger and Tonto have to go after, you know, William Fickner's character in order to, you know, save the day, stop him from getting the silver because he is a wanted criminal. And as they get closer to the criminal, their friendship grows, and that's pretty much the movie. And then, of course, we start to learn more about the actual lone ranger character why he has to wear the mask and i won't see any more his backstory and that whole thing i won't see any more because i don't want to ruin the story that's pretty much of the plot of the 2013 film titled the lone ranger overall my thoughts and opinions on this film are somewhat of a mixed bag at times i thought it was a decent film at times i was extremely annoyed with it i will say i am not familiar with the radio show or the previously 1949 television series that ran into the 1950s i believe i'm not familiar with either one of those so i'm not going to talk about my opinions on i on you know, I'm not going to compare or contrast similarities, differences. I'm not going to do anything like that because I'm not familiar, familiar with the original series. So I'm only going to talk about this new movie. Now let me tell you guys why it was somewhat a mixed bag on the film title The Lone Ranger starring Johnny Depp and Army Hammer. Well, overall, let's talk about actors, first of all. I thought Johnny Depp played a pretty decent Tonto. His, you know, I'm going to get a little spoiler so you guys know. I really enjoyed his backstory. I liked the character of Tonto. I liked the way he talked. I liked some of his quotes. Overall, I thought Johnny Depp did a pretty good job. When I was annoyed is, we beca is when the Lone Ranger became sort of a comedy fest. Now, you know his previous films with Johnny Depp, like, you know, the Pirates of the Caribbean films, it, you know, it really, you know, crafted comedy action, adventure, and drama really well. Well, I didn't think The Lone Ranger really did that. It tried to throw the comedy in there, but every time the comedy was in there, it was really annoying. And I really wish the film would have took itself just a tad more and just a little bit more seriously. And if it would have taken itself more seriously, I think I would have liked The Lone Ranger a lot more. But every time Tonto, you know, played by, you know, famous actor Johnny Depp, every time, you know, Tonto went to go feed his dead bird, you know, he's feeding his soul. I understand the concept behind it, but it was extremely annoying to see this, you know, to see this, you know, comedy played up in a movie, you know, that I wanted to take seriously. But at times, I just found several comedic parts in the movie that were supposed to be funny. I found several moments and so, several elements in this movie titled The Lone Ranger just very goofy in general, and I didn't like the comedy much. Though I will say, the last 10 seconds of the movie is extremely funny, uh, so I did like that one little segment at the very, very end. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. But, but besides that one uh, very humorous moment, all the rest of the humor was it was comedic at times, but overall, it was very goofy, and I really just wish the movie would have taken itself more seriously. 
Then we have Army Hammer playing our famous Lone Ranger character, and I will say it took me a lot, a little while to actually get used to this actor. I know I don't, th I don't think the guy has acted very much. I think this is his first time. He may have acted in a few films previously, but I do believe this is one of his, you know, first big films, if not his first film ever. And I don't know if it was that. I don't think it was that. I think it was just just the character of the Lone Ranger, him being, you know, a lawyer or whatever he was. I just. It took me a little while to get used to his character, to like his acting, so I really wasn't, I just, I wasn't very convinced on his accent, just, he wasn't, I guess his character and his acting just wasn't very convincing, and I couldn't really believe, you know, the motives of his character and those sorts of things, so I just, it took me a little while. I didn't actually start liking the Lone Ranger character until his brother died in the film, and then, you know, he came back, and then I started to vaguely like his character, and then certain other scenes would come up where I wouldn't like his character. But then towards the end of the film, I thought he was a pretty decent character, though I didn't like him at first, uh, but it took me a little while to get used to his character, but after I saw the film, I was like, okay, you know, he's a pretty decent character. The one-liners between him and Johnny Depp are somewhat redeemable with them, too, but overall... I didn't like the comedic element between those two. I really wish the movie would have played up more, you know, on the serious one of it, and then I may have liked it more. But instead, it, you know, it throws itself away for, you know, for the, for you to laugh, and I guess you're supposed to have fun with certain elements in this movie. Some other reasons I really wasn't too fond of the movie was the vibe that it tried to set. The movie is really slow. It's kind of boring at times, and overall, it takes a while for the movie to get going. There's not too much action in it, and not that I need action in the movie to keep me going, but there's only about two big action scenes, the very beginning and then the very end. This movie tries to play itself off as an action adventure film, and it never quite actually gets there. It starts off, you know, you know, oh, this is going to be kind of an action adventure film. There's a big train sequence in the beginning. The train sequence done by Gore Verbinski, the director, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean films and Rango. You know, he does a great job of doing this great big train crash at the very beginning of the film, but that's about the only action adventure five until the very end. The rest of it is story building, world building. I wouldn't have a problem with that element if the actual story building of the film was done in a better manner. Most of it's really boring. Though when it did introduce how, you know, Tonto, you know, betrayed his Indians, you know, for the watch, you know, and, you know, sold them, you know, for the silver or whatever, you know, the whole pocket watch thing. I did like that little backstory, but it only played up on it for a few minutes. Though I did like the backstory of Tonto. I will say that our villain, played by William Fickner, he is a pretty decent villain. He's not given a lot to do, but for the things that they do give him to do, I really liked him. I've recently got into his acting on the television show on NBC called Crossing Lines. I love him in that, and I really enjoyed him in The Lone Ranger. So he somewhat redeemed the movie by having, you know, a decent movie given a really good villain, though I wish they would have given the villain more to do because he was really cool. I will say there is a nice little twist at the end. I won't say who, but they reveal another villain towards the end of the movie and overall I really liked both of those villains. William Fickner kind of gets pushed off to the side towards the end of the movie because they introduce a new villain and I kind of liked how you know William Fickner and another guy so there were actually two villains in the 2013 western film by the name of the Lone Ranger. But like I was saying about the whole action adventure vibe, the movie never really got that action adventure vibe. It tries to sell it off as an action adventure film, but it never quite gets there. The action adventure vibe of the film doesn't actually start until the, maybe the last 30, 20 minutes of the film. And by the time it gets to the end of the film, I no longer cared about whether it was action adventure. I just wanted to get the film over with because I was starting to lose interest. I will say the ending of this film is amazing. I really enjoyed the ending of the film, and that is the reason overall why I say it's a decent movie. If it wasn't for that great of an ending, the movie would have really fell short for me, and I really wouldn't have liked the movie at all. But that ending was so good where it was actually somewhat, should I say, a lot redeemable, and it redeems the movie well enough where I probably have to give the movie at least a good 7 out of 10 just because of that ending. That ending was nice action. It had that nice classic, you know, dun 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 You know, that nice classic, you know, tune to it that was used several times towards the end of the movie. And I really enjoyed, you know, that, you know, the segments with that, the nice action adventure vibe. When it revealed the twist, I just wish the whole movie would have been like that ending, because that ending was really good. And you can see they're kind of trying to set up a franchise with this, but I don't know if it will, because, you know, critically, it hasn't done too well, and financially, hasn't really done too well either, though only time will tell, right? Anyways, final thoughts on the movie, 7 out of 10, the ending was really nice, I like the twist at the end, William Fickner was really good, 
Though at times, this movie kind of was really goofy. Wish it would have played itself more seriously. Anyways, that's pretty much my thoughts and opinions on the film titled The Lone Ranger. Once again, thanks for watching another video by Centipede Geek. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to our page below, and I'll see you guys later with more videos by Centipede Geek.